Well guys, this video is sponsored by Qualifab. In this video we're going to flip the F35 upside down to cover the bottom side with uh, epoxy, gel coat. And uh, at the end of the video we do a small recap what we've all been doing this year. And the status of all ongoing projects like the X32, F35, uh, Donier, Harrier and so on. All the school projects from RC Jetprint. So let's continue the build. Okay, the plug is all covered up, uh, let's let it dry for 24 hours, then we're going to do another filler layers uh, like we did with the top side. So meanwhile while drying, I give you a quick recap uh, about our RC Jetprint uh, models and what the status of it. So this is our F-35B, uh, we flew in it, we hovered it this year, uh, we did some uh, transition attempts. Uh, but we found out that our speed during transition wasn't high enough. So we programmed more transition time. I had it on two seconds. So the next attempt will be like 10 seconds or so to give it time to transition. Uh, quite cool model. And we got a few on spare. We also upgraded the, the wings uh, with 40 millimeter EDS. Um, the reason is that I don't trust those 30s anymore um, I need some reliability so I switched to 40s all our uh, existing customers will receive an update with a new wing so to be honest this is a cool airplane it flies really nice you can do some acrobatics uh, it got also the thrust factor um, I do install those uh, JP's because they give me like 2.8 up to 3 kilos of thrust. And what we're going to do uh, for next season is to install these APDs. So this will save a lot of weight. So overall weight of this model, including LiPo, 5000 will be 3.2 kilos. So this is a nice aim for flying nicely. And reach about like 3 minutes of hover. Okay, let's continue to the X32. Oh, by the way, this is nice. This is for my doorbell, 25 angled. So yeah, I miss a lot of packages from DHL because I'm working in my shed. So now I have a video doorbell, so we will also install it. That is cool toast, heb je daar? Eten! Cool. Okay guys, we, it's Christmas and we got the X32, both of them near to the Christmas tree. So we got our flying model, we had some nice flights in Ter Apel and also some nice flights over here in Eindhoven. And we got our hover model. So together with the friends from RC Jetprint, we are combining these two, the best out of this, what we've learned from those to launch it soon on RC Jetprint. Let me know in the comments guys, if you really want this badly, this big X32 model. It flies really cool. You can build it as an, as an A platform or as a B platform. So like I said, you can choose between the A or the B version. The B version don't have those wingtips. So it's a shorter wing with six stabilization engines, 40 millimeters from QX, and one big size 105 millimeter running on 8S. And it's rock stable during hover. Here we have our Harrier project. This is a pro project uh, together with with Bayat from Switzerland. He made it flow flyless this year. Uh, but I will continue this uh, model somewhere in January. Uh, we got a lot of work with the F-35. 
but this is also a project which is going on i think we're going to scale it down that it fits a 105 instead of a 130 130 with a high voltage system is directly expensive so my goal is to run it on 6s 105 millimeter <laughs> oh guys i'm so happy with this also that now we have a bigger reach and we can almost reach even the resin printer but when i need it upstairs yeah way more better okay let's see i do i'm printing a version 2 doorbell holder loader. so waiting for that part to install it okay here we have our f35b um, it's still a development project um, but after all our attempts we found out that it's always way too heavy and critical how, yeah, for vertical takeoff and flying. Uh, we always get some 6 kilos which is too heavy for this 1 to 10 model. So we decided to scale up this uh, to also a 1 to 8 size model. Um, but for forward flying it's, cool. it's it's perfect and for hover separ separately it's perfect but for transition yeah we need to squeeze out more energy out of those edfs and uh, yes also for 2024 uh, maybe a bigger model now at least for sure one to eight but i don't know what to do with this model so guys let me know in the comments okay let's continue here we have our 2017 model f25b forward flying an awesome airplane but for now uh, yeah it's it's a mock-up there's still Schubler installed it's fully functional but this is our yeah art piece and <laughs> look how many prototypes that we built mate amazing uh, here we got a plug for the x32 composite but we're going to uh, scale up the x32 to a 125 scale also a big project what's coming up it's getting a little bit dark here in the back, but this is our Dornier project together with RC Jet Print. Um, so this is printed uh, a year ago already, but we together with René and, and Sigi from RC Jet Print, we find nicer settings to print more lightweight. So this will be very, very awesome to hover this with uh, less uh, power. And uh, yeah, we also know the CG, where to put it. So hopefully this will bring a lot for next year, 2024. So guys, the Dornier 32. Uh, 31 actually, it's a Dornier 31. Amazing, and it's big. Okay, let's go downstairs. <laughs> yes, we got our amazing workshop. Thank you all for watching all my videos last year. Really proud. Yeah, and now we need to dry the plug and we will continue tomorrow or maybe this weekend okay guys this is it for this week's video the plug needs to um, dry so this will take another 24 hours um, if you have any ideas or suggestions just let me know in the comments for now i wish you all merry christmas um, my dream is still to reach that 100,000 followers so make sure to subscribe and hit that like button to trigger the youtube algorithm for now See you next time. Bye-bye.